Hey, what's up, number 0927? Man, I uh, just wanna, wanna thank you for being bold and uh, confessing your sin. Uh, the, uh, last Wednesday night, man, we had that night of confession. Uh, man, here it says that you struggle with anger. Um, man, first, you're not alone. <laughs> I think every person that walks the face of this earth struggles with anger uh, or rage or just frustration at some point in their life, at some point in their day. Um, so man, just want you to know that, you, that you're not alone. And, and secondly, that doesn't discount you saying I struggle with anger. That's not just something to pass over uh, because the Bible says a lot about anger and the Bible says a lot about dealing with anger. Uh, the first one that comes to mind specifically is the Apostle Paul in the book of Ephesians chapter 4. Paul says this, he says, in your anger or be angry and don't sin. Um, so what, what Paul is, is telling us there is that there's a way to be angry and it be right. And there's also a way to be angry and it be wrong. Or there's a way to be have righteous anger and there's a way to have sinful anger, if that's a better way to understand it. And so what Paul's getting at here is there are certain things that it's okay to be upset about. Um, man, when you see someone being taken advantage of, when you see uh, or when you just hear about a bunch of junk on the news that show how jacked up our world is, uh, man, it's okay to be angry about that because that, that's a righteous anger welling up inside of you saying, Man, this isn't right. I want to. I want this to be fixed, and that's a longing for Jesus to come back and, and make all things right and make all things new. Um, but man, there's there's other anger that, that's sinful, uh, where it's yelling at friends, yelling at parents, um, getting super frustrated because things don't go your way, and that's selfishness, that's pride. Uh, and God says specifically that He opposes the proud and gives grace to the humble. Uh, another passage that comes to my mind is in James chapter one. Um, it says, be slow to speak, uh, slow to anger, quick to listen, is what James tells us. And so, uh, again, there's nothing wrong with being angry, but the, the big question is, what are you getting angry about? What are the things that are making you angry? Are they from a selfish sense, from a prideful stance, or is it something that is okay? And from, man, you writing down, you struggling with anger, I'm, I'm assuming it's from a sinful sense. And so, man, a couple things to help you out. Number 0927. Um, one, get some accountability in your life. Um, man, it's, it's super easy to just snap on people. And, uh, man, you need, you need boys in your life. You need some men in your life who are gonna, who aren't afraid to, to stand up to you and say, Hey, you are unrighteously angry right now. You need to chill the heck out. Um, and I've got guys in my life who, who have done that with me before and who helped me cool down uh, man, in, in the book of Proverbs, all throughout the book of Proverbs, the, the writer of Proverbs talks about, dude, man, those who are slow to be angry are much stronger than those who are hot-headed and, and are driven by their, their temperament, are driven by their anger. Um, the, the book of Proverbs has a ton of, of wise sayings and, and, and helpful sayings about navigating that in your life. So one, get some accountability, and two, man... Um, I would say look to Jesus, and here's what I mean by that. Jesus had plenty of times in, in his life and ministry here on earth where he could have been really mad at people, but what did he do? He showed grace. He showed mercy. And so I would ask and, and, and tell you, man, fix your eyes on Jesus. Get your eyes off of yourself uh, because Jesus is the picture of how we're supposed to interact with other people. He sets the example for us. He tells us to pick up our cross and daily follow him, dying to ourselves, dying to what we might think is right, and, and, and living and walking towards what Jesus says is right. And Jesus has compassion on people. He's gracious to people. He's merciful to people. And in the same way, we ought to be that way towards others. Even if we know we're right, um, man, sometimes it's, it's just better to lose the battle and win the war. Um, and the war is winning people to Jesus and sharing the gospel with people and, and inviting them into the family of Christ. And so man number 0927, I hope that makes sense. I hope that's been helpful. And if you want to talk with Corey Bryan or myself or Noel about that, we would love to talk more with you about that.